just say, I would like name like fucking seven fucking movies. Uh, or I, I named like 20 movies, dude. You ever seen any of them? Yeah, they're like old school black black exploitation. Racism. Shit. Racism. Did you say the word black? <laughs> <Racism>. <laughs> Tuck away the millennials to their safe spaces because it's time for Toy Detox. Uh, once again, this week we have a full staff of sick individuals uh, fresh off a bottle of Hen Dog. <laughs> it is my man and your man alike, Sway66. What's good? I'm sober today. Woo! You might actually understand what the fuck I'm talking about. I doubtfully so. <laughs> <laughs> And welcoming back for the first time, our uh, new cast member, our new regular on the show. We are now a Trinity. Uh, he doesn't have a name yet, though, so we're going to call <laughs> What do we call it, Tyler, dude? What do we... Tyler, have you settled in on a name yet? No. Simple. No. Ah, the, the, the elite formerly known as Tyler. <laughs> he's, now, he's now Thuggy Thimble. Thuggy Thimble Tyler, the top hat specialist. Tyler. Um, ex um, directly after the show, please head to the back of the building to process your application, your fingerprints, your anal cavity search, and uh, dick missiles. Got you? Got you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Everybody happy to be in 2016? Sure. Sure. You're off the show, Tyler. You're off the show already. <laughs> what is that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Fucking exciting. Monday's coming, just like always. Yeah, like, like you said, back to the regular work week. I'm happy. I'm glad to be past all the fucking, all the bullshit. The ho I hate holidays, and I'm happy to be past them. How about that? Who the fuck does Christmas in December anyways? Who, whose idea was that? Jeez, Scrooge. People that didn't have snow, Mickey. That's I'm it. serious, though. <laughs> fucking, and then, and then on top of that, not only do they fuck up my work week with Christmas, then they turn around and, and add New Year's in the very next week. That's just plain selfish. Sounds like somebody missed the work party and the free cookies. I, I hate work parties. I like to get my... I have a lot of work, typically, so I like to just buckle down and get it done, dude. And that yeah. days off just fucks it up for me. I always hate that, especially because I work in manufacturing. Uh -huh. So they're always like, we're going to have a big meal together and all the departments can meet over here. And I'm like, have you ever heard everyone talk to each other during the day? We do not want to be sitting next to each other. Dude, this, like, this is not a friendly environment. <laughs> this company I used to work for called uh, ACS. They did. Um, they fabricated like um, they like 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 cabling, like you know, like fiber optics and crap like that, right? So I worked in the front in engineering, and then we had like the sales and all that crap. Then in the back, you had like production. And I swear to God, there was so much hate in between the two. It was like two different nations or some shit. It was like World of Warcraft or some yeah. shit like that. And they're like, well, maybe if we bring in cookies for everybody, they'll all get along. And shit. Oh, they used to hate <laughs> each other. And I, I was pretty cool because um, I've been a I've been a tech. Uh, I, I start off as an install tech and things like that in most of my uh, fields of work. So I'm kind of cool with the production half and the manufacturing side. You know what I'm saying? That that I, I'm, I'm cooler with those people because they're not like snooty and shit. Not to call uh, anybody ACS snooty if they're listening, which I doubt. But um, so they would like talk to me and tell me how much they hated the people in the front and. Shit like that. It was and it was like always kind of awkward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah, those motherfuckers. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to my office. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you guys on this uh, cold ass floor, and I'm headed back to my office. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Tyler? Mm. No, I was. I mean, we're talking about work life. I mean, we just kind of wrapped up being in the industry that I'm in. So you know, now now we'll we'll get that short break, and now we get to turn around and deal with all the people that are you know 
bought something six months ago and don't understand that they don't have a receipt or a box and want money back. What you mean I can't have my money back? What you mean? <laughs> Dog, these are Yeezys. You should be giving me more money back. Hey, yeah. well, that's just dust on the bottom side. It came like that. I ain't never, I ain't played no basketball in these J's. They came like that. <laughs> exactly. Man, the dude that sold it to me put that gum on it. <laughs> See, I need to watch out for you two. You guys already have all the lines down. I'm from the hood, hey. Tyler. I grew up <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this cleared, bro. I, I grew up in the And if anyone man. didn't know, Tyler is actually our only white cast member. So, <laughs> He's the only white uh, guy. White, on the white show. privilege in action, if you ever want to know how that works. He just weasels his way right onto a show. How's that white privilege? Know nobody. <laughs> oh, ow. Oh. How's that white privilege treating you there, Tyler? The family, <laughs> lawyer, the family lawyer sent us requests to uh, either shut down or add him. Or, hey, you uh, know. Oh, you know what, Tyler? Hey, you know, know what? It feels it feels good to be be the token white boy. Hey, good. Tyler. You know you're on here. You're doing your thing. The white privilege is opening doors for you. I trade with you any day, bro. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Your name is Roach. <laughs> you're Roach. Top flight. What's name of Roach? <laughs> <laughs> I still like dick missiles, dog. Hey, Tyler. I got a question for you. My um, yeah. my wife saw some shit on Facebook, which. I don't take any news posted on Facebook seriously at all. But, um, because, you know, they, they conduct those little social experiments and shit on Facebook, just posting, like, things to uh, see how people react. But um, she said she saw a post where Jordan said something. Okay, there was, there was, I think it was multiple posts. Because one post said that Michael Jordan said he was going to change the price of his shoes because he was tired of uh, black kids getting killed and, and, and uh, injured over his shoes. Any truth to that? Um, I, I call bullshit immediately. Jordan Brand is its own like division inside of Nike. So, and he obviously is the face. Um, I'm not sure how much control he ha actually has over determining the price of those shoes. Mm -hmm. Now, I but, thought that uh, he, I thought that he had, and I, obviously you know better than I. I thought that he had, at some point in the in the past had a, a, um, amassed enough money to actually purchase. Uh, the brand, the, the the Jordan brand, the Jumpman brand, or whatever, from Nike. Well, they they kind of wanted to brand him for life, so there was some stuff like some trademark stuff that that changed hands. It was like ninety seven. I want to say. I'm just going to eat these. I'm just going to eat these cookies while you're talking. Go ahead. Continue. And that's that's kind of that, that that's kind of the same time that um you know they stopped coming in like Nike boxes. They took the Nike logos off of them. I mean, it's mm -hmm. still a Nike product. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I don't really see the prices ever going down. I've mm -hmm. never seen it. I've, they've steadily grown from 85 to, I mean, even last year they went up again. Like you might get a year or two where, mm -hmm. where they hold in price, but I mean, his average retro shoe is still going to be $190, $200. Yeah, that Jumpman Perfect. logo is, that, that that red on that Jumpman logo, That that's blood. That's not RGB. <laughs> That's not. Hey, that's blood, you know bro. Nike Nike had to pay that man one hundred and eighty million dollars last year, so that money's got to come from somewhere. Mm. And yes. That's nothing for him. Now, um, so second question. Oh, mm, cookies are good. So, uh, <laughs> second question, right? <laughs> she also saw somewhere, and I definitely, I'm definitely calling bullshit on this because no businessman would do this. She read somewhere that um, from Facebook base, but that he said he makes shoes. For white kids in the suburbs, not for poor black kids. And he, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. If I'm getting this correct, and she also said that she read that he said, I know this is bullshit because no one in their right mind would say this shit uh, out loud, anyways. And that he also said that um, what was the? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally screw this up, but it was probably a lie any fucking way. Something about. The um the Asians that the Asian child labor was something that was making the shoe, <laughs> and they weren't gonna make any more money off than they were making, so he wasn't gonna um drop his price. It was some shit like that. I don't know, man. It was just ridiculous. I I don't think anybody would ever say that a any type of product was made for one particular group of people versus not for for another. And I could tell you like. I've seen some of the stuff that some of these guys have done like mm -hmm. with the comp company that I work for and even with um, Nike and Jordan brand in general. Like they always give back. Like there was a thing like um, they just did – like we just opened a giant Jordan store down in Chicago on 32nd mm -hmm. or, yeah, and State. And um, like this past 
Christmas, they actually invited in all these underprivileged kids to come in and come shop that store, which is about as high in as marquee as you kind of get in the athletic footwear industry. Provided them all with free gift cards, and they were actually able to shop with Chicago Bulls players. So there's definitely a lot of give back from those companies. But they provide. How, they much, provide. Uh, how much? How much interest those kids got to pay when they graduate high school? <laughs> no, 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 no. A, a, a better question is: Did they provide um, round the clock security for them as they went back to their uh, underprivileged neighborhoods and faced the robbers and the uh, grimy goons who were yeah. uh, undoubtedly waiting for their asses? You know. <laughs> It'll give you a burrito for them shoes, or I'm gonna kill you. Nah, but seriously, yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't Thanks, think Joaquin that. Noah. Thank I, you. I, I, I don't think that any. Uh, I don't think any smart um, business person or, or conglomerate uh, would come out and say that they don't want uh, or that their, their brand is just for this particular uh, race. Whether they don't, they don't want urban people wearing their clothing. I'm pretty sure that. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy, yeah, I was just gonna say yeah, Tommy, Tommy Hilfiger, Hilfiger. <laughs> is the it's only motherfucker. Like, yeah. He well, Tommy <laughs> Hilfiger and Cristal, but uh, Cristal, that, that's not really clothing, so I guess it doesn't count. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what's going on, fellas? Let's uh, get past this bullshit and get back to the plastic. <laughs> what do you mean get back to it? You skipped right through the plastic. Hey, because, man, this is, high, this is fucking toy detox. You know what I'm saying? This is yeah. higher conversation for the plastic addict. Higher so conversation while go... Mickey chews on random snacks. Oh, and it's, I'm eating. I'm actually. I'm actually partaking of Milano uh, double chocolate cookies. They're really good. Wow. The uh, Petridge Farms. Petridge Farms. I'm sorry. I thought only Tyler was the white guy on the show. Hey, listen. I have. Ref- I have refined <laughs> Dude, taste. Talk about Milano <laughs> cookies and shit. I have. I have refined <laughs> taste. I, I like to uh, treat myself every so often. Yeah. Okay, hey, I'm, let me ask this question. I'm going to edit it out, but were there any topics in there that you guys saw that you guys wanted to fuck with, or did you guys have any topics you guys wanted to fuck with, or you want to just let it flow? I like the, I mean, the favorite character one's okay, because that's one we can at least chew on for a bit, but um, I didn't really like the, the comic one, just because I'm not a comic guy, so. What comic one? <clears throat> you put something about... In the toy continuum, trans space, something, something. Oh, really? For a lot of time, I took the fucking type all that shit. That's what I get. Something, something. Wait, hey, you're <laughs> the one that don't even answer questions and shit. I'm not editing this out. I want the world <laughs> to know. Uh, I want the world to know. <laughs> I'm not the Cybertronians don't identify themselves as male and female. I really don't fucking care about that one. I got uh, it right here. Relationship development in the IDW Transformers universe. I just quoted. Thank it. you, Tyler. This is why Tyler's on the show. Fuck you, I Mike. I literally just quoted the exact post. <laughs> no, it don't count when you Dimble, do it. Dimble it only counts when Tyler does it. Dimble. It only counts when Tyler does it. Missile, motherfucker. <laughs> Dick missiles. Ah. <laughs> that is a thing. Anyone listening, run up to your closest friend, neighbor, uh, younger sibling, parent, and say, "Dick missiles." Just do it. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> See where it gets you in life. He's going to get you in trouble. <laughs> no, man, they love when you do that shit, especially if you're, if you're like a third, fourth, fifth grader. Teachers love when you do that shit. Just run up to them, slap them on the ass, and say, dick missiles, baby. They love that shit. I know it for a fact. <laughs> so where, where are we at, guys? I don't even know. Mm. I, just uh, <laughs> I, just, I just had a mental image of, of my dick missiles. No, my five-year-old slapping a teacher on the ass and yelling dick missiles. <laughs> awesome. Toy Detox reaching the people. Okay, so um, I'm, um, I, I want to ask you guys something right quick. Uh, I, was, uh, I was kicking it with Jay yesterday, and I, I, just, did a, um, I, I just did my little review of, of Sun Surge today. What, what do you guys think of Sun Surge? Did we already talk about this? Not really. I don't think no. so. What, what do you guys I haven't got mine in yet, so. You haven't got your what? Sun Surge? Yeah. From what you've seen. What about you, Tyler? You got him in yet? Yeah, I got him. I so, like him a lot. He's typical bad cube fashion where he's got to explode in your hand and then come back together. Um, yeah, I think he's really good when he's done. Um, you just, you just <laughs> no, got no. to oh, no. everything is lined up correctly or you're going to be fighting that chest or, piece. Or it's going to end up in your hair or your eyes. <laughs> or your mouth. <laughs> Preferably your mouth. <laughs> Tyler, you just put so much out there at one time just now. <laughs> I don't even think you grasped it. Uh, uh, I think he's good. I think he could have used some die, die cast, but he's he's solid. 
Does that does that fake chest bother either one of you guys? Because it doesn't bother me, but after talking to uh, Jay, he just really pointed it out, and I, I just really can't I can't ignore it now. Because he made the point that um, the original, I think it was the original uh, Sun Surge, I mean Sun Surge, Sun Streaker, the Diaclone, or whatever the fuck, I don't know, this G1 shit is way past my knowledge. But he said the technology was already there to make the transformation with the chest piece. And he showed me the figures he has in his possession, right? And uh, sure as shit, it, it's already there. So he's like saying like 20, 30 years later, and motherfuckers are not doing it right. They're doing fake what chesses. Are you, what are you saying isn't there with the chess piece? What okay, so point? you know they did the uh on the on the uh back cube sun surge, which is sun streaker for anyone listening. Uh <clears throat> they they gave him a fake chess piece on the front, like for the robot mode, so that, that way it, it could be like scaled, the proportions could be correct or, or closer to the cartoon, right? And then but he still actually has you know, his chest is made from the windshield of the car in the hood, right? So um, the actual toys, actual alt mode windshield and and hood, uh, form up form the backpack of the toy, and it's, and it's all covered away and packed away neatly. And then on the chest, it has like a little uh, a little uh, fake chest piece, which comes together. Okay, you dig what I'm saying? And yeah. uh, I, I know that I know that there was a point where a lot of people were having a conversation about this in the different groups and boards and shit like that and some people like it some people hate it but i never really gave it much thought until he brought that point up and then showed me where the g1 but, toy okay so if you're happened. not a g1 collector why are you worried about a g1 transformation no nah, the, the point is the point is saying that it's not necessary he's saying that it's not necessary and I, and I get his point it's not necessary to to fake the chess piece because the technology is there the engineering technology is there to 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 work the transformation and utilize the actual uh, windshield and chest and uh and hood as the chest piece. But did you ever think that maybe just because you have the technology doesn't mean it's going to be worth using? Are uh, you talking to me? You're talking to Jay? Because I personally I'm talking to anybody. Because <laughs> just because you know you can make that windshield flip around whichever way you want and the, and the, the roof, that doesn't mean it's going to come together in a viable way that isn't going to affect quality too. Yeah, that's a good point. I think it looks fine. I mean. My, my problem with the figure aren't the chest piece. I, the chest because even the way they did the chest piece, it's still actually transformed. It's not like a, it's not like a, a a whole windshield that's just there. It's just drawn on or some shit. Like somebody took some, a piece of paper, drew a windshield, and taped it to the motherfucker's chest. It actually does uh, come apart and transform on hinges and shit like that. My my problem with it is is the uh, the grade of plastic that's used, and of course those feet. But that's a non-starter, I guess. Well, see, I like the chest. Like, I think it looks much better proportion wise. Like, like I have him sitting on my shelf with the other Lamborghinis right mm-hmm. now, and he makes the other ones look bad. Like, their yeah. chest looks way out of proportion now. Uh, like, it's way yeah. too big. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. I brought that up in uh, the review I did of Clampdown, um, which is not up yet. But uh, yeah, I, here's my question. Okay, so you guys see the pics of Sun Surge next to uh, Sideswipe. Is there anyone other than me that thinks, okay, so now we need a third party Sideswipe? Because that chest is so fucking just square. Because it's the hood of the, of, the, of the Lamborghini. It's just so square and wide. It doesn't look like the character in any shape, form, or fashion other than that's a Lamborghini and then it's red. <laughs> what? It does not. It doesn't, dude. It doesn't. You, you go back and look at the G1 cartoon, right? And then you look at that fucking, that, that fucking Lamborghini MP. And it, it doesn't look like him. I mean, yeah, it favors him, but it's not. It's not I mean, let me remind you. Of, of what Masterpiece is all about. Very oh, simple. God, here we go with this bullshit. The combination of toy and screen accuracy. Right. Right? And that is... That chest is dead on G1 toy. I'm going to motherfucking... I'm going to motherfucking... You said screen ac- accuracy, right? You said that. You did say it's that. A com- it's always been used as a combination of uh-huh. toy and screen accuracy. Uh-huh. It's not true to one or the other. Uh-huh. It combines both. I'm going to get this motherfucking shit going right now. I'm, I'm Googling. So, yeah. I'm using the Googles. You're <laughs> using the Googles on that. Use the Googles. Yes. The Googles are going to, going to shed some light on this. Well, I think it's one of those things. It was good at, well, I don't even want to say good enough. I think we all accepted it for what it was. Like, it looked good. Yeah. Until Sun Surge came along. Yeah. And then you're like, ooh, maybe I need to rethink this. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I mean, when you look at the, okay, I'm looking at pictures of them right now. Because right? you got to remember that they're, they've never looked exactly the same. No, nah, I'm not talking about toys. that. 
I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like when you look at how wide. Come on, look at that, look at how wide that MP chest is because it forms the hood of the car. Now, as far as it being close to the toy, yeah, I say it's pretty close to the toy. It's pretty dead onto the original. And that's what toy. you're collecting is a fucking toy. Yeah, but it's also <laughs> but you just said yourself it's supposed to be a combination between the toy. The G1 toy and the G1 cartoon. And I mean, and I'm not saying it's fucked off. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying with Sun Surge being so close to the G1 cartoon, to the G1 cartoon, it really just makes it does, and, and it's not Takara's fault, obviously, because they're not making this shit to match it to a fucking third party. But it, when you look at your stuff on the shelf, man, to me, in my opinion, we need a uh we need a new side sweat. I'm just putting it out there. That's just my thoughts. Great. I'm just putting it out there. Here we go. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I kind of see what you're saying. I mean, it could be conflicting. I are, are you on the Googles? Motherfucker, I am Google. Dude, get on the Googles. I'm <laughs> telling you. Pull up an image of him. Just see two RX6 when we need <laughs> Pull up an image of him, dude. Nah, you guys are all fucking stupid. Yeah, he would. He was in here. <clears throat> it, 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 no, actually, what... Go ahead. I think it's kind of funny. is If I'm seeing this right, there's the gap between the windshield and his waist... Wait, which figure are we talking about right now? We're talking about Sun Surge. Okay. Right? And uh, is that in the show at all? Because that's definitely not on the G1 toy. What are you talking about? The gap between his windshield and his waist. Well, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. There's actually waist. a black hinge in there. It's not, it's not just hollow. Right, but I'm saying there is a gap between the windshield... And his waist. You're talking about like a abdominal area, like um, like like. I'm talking about a, a space with nothing in between two points. <laughs> no, what are you? That's, there's nothing like that on that figure, dude. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're saying. I mean, let me get the, let me hit the Googles. Yeah, <laughs> the Googles. Very, I, I hit a bad cube sun surge. The very first picture. <laughs> okay. Has uh, Chip sitting on his shoulder, and there's a big ass gap between the windshield and his crotch, right? Here, I just put um, it on the one you have in hand. I'm just, I just curious. I just says I just sent you guys a picture. Uh, where did you send that picture, everybody? In the group chat. Cool. Group I'm gonna chat. go look at this thing. Is now he runs the group chat. <laughs> God, <laughs> All right, so what? Get in where I can fit in. Mike. Are, you, are, you, are you talking I'm, about I'm, that? Is that the part you're talking about, Mike? That little black. I don't see no picture, so I can't tell you. See, that's why we got Googles. That's why God gave us Googles. Your face is Google. When you get on the Googles, you can see that shit. Anyway, I'm just curious because that's another that's another way you should be happy because the G1 toy doesn't have that. Well, I'm looking at an <laughs> image of the G1 uh, animated uh, works so that we could uh, better yeah. decide what's correct like, and what's not A couple screenshots I'm correct. seeing. Right? He doesn't have that gap either on the show. Yeah, because it looks like his windshield comes to the it comes to the base of his. Uh, now, to me though, I mean, it still looks good, but I think then you know you're going to end up like the Omnigonics one, where the windshield almost looks too big. Yeah, and, and that's the whole deal with, like you said, we're wearing using a real uh, windshield. I, I think that that is the major issue. Yeah. I, I mean, looking at the both of them, I mean, neither one of them to me really hits it. Nah. Dead, you know, dead bullseye. But the, the Omnigonics, I like the uh, looking at it right now. I like it. The the chest and the windshield better, but everything else about it looks like, uh, you know, like a chug style. Like there's all the lining and the extra details in the shoulders. See, I, I like all that kind of stuff. Like but then I also it. get a little bit of that, like in the arms and stuff on the bad cube. But I think overall the bad cube looks better. You know, like I like the uh, the vents and the head better and the windshield is kind of eh. the legs to me look better than the omnigonics too hey let me let me throw this out there and switch gears a little bit um so when you're talking about anyone when we're all in the fandom we're talking about um mps and then then you get the guy who says that's not an mp that's more of an oversized chug i typically look at when, when a person says that's more chug than MP. For some reason, I take that chug comment as an insult <laughs> as a I, third party like masterpiece you. collector. And that's probably just me. Well, the I'm reason aggressive. that's referenced like that, and I'm saying this because it sounds like you're trying to fuck with me a little bit here. No, I, I'm actually not. I'm actually not. You know, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually not. Um, I was in a conversation well, with someone about it. Chug has always been related to updated 
Greg for Mercy. Or futuristic. I think it was you know, Greg for Mercy. Aesthetic of the toy. Uh, Whereas Masterpiece G1 is more, you know, that old school look. And, you know, even though you can get into the later series, like after the movie, and, you know, you got guys like Rodimus and on and on and on that, you know, like they're weird ass futuristic vehicles. Mm-hmm. But, you know, when you're talking about like a Lamborghini, you know, and then you go back to, you know, the way he looked on screen or the toy looked. They didn't have all that extra lining and, you know, all these extra little details. That's, you know, that's something that's more commonly found in the official, you know, chug releases. That's what that is really referring to. It's not saying it, it looks like a $15 Walmart toy. It just means all the extra stuff on there takes away the the old school look to it, I guess. So then is it just me? Am I just being overly aggressive for no reason? I I think overly aggressive. I think it was, uh, go ahead, go ahead, Tyler. No, I take it the same way. Someone says it looks like a chug. I, I, I take it as an insult. Yeah, because to me, I feel like they're saying that it's not uh, it's not good enough to be masterpiece. The quality's not there, or you know, what's what I'm wrong saying? with that? What's wrong with having high standards? Yeah, but when you say don't, it's not it's not you. See, don't make this about you because it's not you. I'm not saying you. First of all, I I, I do believe it was. This either, is definitely about you. <laughs> everything's about me. I'm a fucking narcissist. So. <laughs> I, I, it was either when I was talking to Greg for Mercy in the in the shards um, uh, ongoing uh, chat, or it was when we had uh, bed bugs on the other night, and I can't I don't remember which one it was, but whichever one of them it was, uh, big up to big up to Greg for Mercy and big up to uh, bed bugs as well. Uh, whichever one it was, they cleared it up and they gave the same um, they gave the same statement that you just made about their reasoning behind it, but I still take it as an insult, as does Tyler. Well, I think this whole conversation started. And Tyler's done talking for time. <laughs> no. Dick missiles. <laughs> <Wow>. Dick missiles. <laughs> Go ahead, Tyler. What were you saying, man? Back in the pocket. <sighs> no, I was Sorry. just going to say, it seems like this conversation has become much more relevant since the gu- gun dog launch. Yeah. I think that's really what kind of started this whole, it, it looks like an oversized chug conversation. And if was you it gun dog or was it the Inferno? Or I'm sorry, the Ironhide. No, or were they, they were both kind of simultaneous and released, though, weren't they? Which Ironhide are, are you talking about? The one <laughs> you reviewed, the TFC. Yeah, the TFC Ironhide. What about? Are you are you even on this show? Yeah, I was just like what I was just like listen, <laughs> I was listening to uh, explosion sound effects for dick missiles. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about these dick missiles, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it. No, I to bring it back around. I I really think it started with with that whole gun dog, and I think it was just the aesthetic and the feet. I think looked so close to to the chug mm-hmm. that kind of kicked it off. But I don't. Gun dog is one of those ones like until you have it in hand, like it like pictures don't do it justice. Oh, he's like, fantastic. It, like, he is fantastic. like it looks like a chug, but like when you have him in hand, like he definitely feels masterpiece, yeah. and he's got weight to him, like unexpected weight, kind of like with the. Fan Toys bombshell hat, like yeah, you, you didn't not think he was that, that heavy when you picked him up. You could straight knock a motherfucker out and steal his Jordans with that fucking gun dog. <laughs> <laughs> Cling <laughs> one one hit to the head, motherfuckers down. Jordans are off the feet. And on the hey, what's that website, the Battleground, where you can uh, sell your Jordans aftermarket? eBay. No, no, no. It's actually a site. My my son showed it to me. It's actually a site. Where people post their their retros and shit like that, and you and motherfuckers like um, bid for them, not eBay. It's called like the battlegrounds or some shit. Straight up, why why you guys can't stay on topic? Why are you talking about shoes and shit? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even me, dude. Because you know you know the white guy's gonna come on here and just run the whole fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tyler, I gotta disagree with you though. I, I, there were there, guys have been or geeks have been um, geeks have been having this dispute about. Uh, um, chug, not chug, not MP, but actually a uh, oversized chug. Since the third party started really producing and pressing the um, their masterpiece releases or their attempts at masterpiece releases. So, yeah, the one I remember being the main talking point about that was uh, DX9, the Invisible, and that was basically because they used the Chug Mirage forearms from the deluxe figure of the classics line and put it on their, you know, quote unquote masterpiece Mirage. I'm going That's to... the one that really got me thinking, Oh geez. 
Yeah, yeah. but I, I think it actually <laughs> goes funny. back to, I think it actually goes back to, and I could definitely be wrong, but I think it actually goes back to, um, because no one called, no one called fucking Quake Wave an oversized chug. You know what I'm saying? I think it goes back to when Warbitron announced that their Bruticus was going to be Masterpiece scale, and it was Masterpiece, and they dropped those figures, and everyone was looking at them and saying, oh, those aren't Masterpiece, those are oversized chugs. Because now, so You so say size. that like nobody, nobody ever talks shit about Quake Wave. I think you're a little late in the game there, because before uh, Quake Wave came out, there were a lot of people that were like, yeah, this is going to be garbage, it doesn't look right, blah, 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 blah. You know blah, what? Blah. I can't I can't even I can't even comment on that. I, I I could be wrong. I could be right as far as Quake Wave go, because um, all I, once I once I actually got into the whole... Once once I became aware of Quake Wave, I had already missed the the, uh, the opportunity to get him, and there was nothing but straight dick jerking <laughs> and ass licking concerning Quake Wave. He was right. like, so which God. Means you were, which means you were almost two years late. On Quake Wave, I'll go with you with that. So, I'll just go saying with you with that. But I'm so, just... so is that was that the case? Did either of you hear like people calling him an oversized chug? I saw similar statements, but nothing. It wasn't as rampant as now because there weren't there wasn't anything else like it at the time. Permission to nope. treat the witness as a hostile witness, sir. No, I only, asked you for specifics. Only, <laughs> only I here had, you know. Which I gear was way ahead of the game anyway. Those cone heads. As far as giving people masterpiece figures, they didn't even know they fucking wanted at the time. Yeah. And so Quake Wave is really, you know, it wasn't the first third party MP to come out, but it was the first one and the one that really pushed the boundaries for collectors. Because not only when it came out, it was it pretty much the highest priced third party figure to ever be released mm-hmm. up on retail. But it really divided people because it was such a fucking knockout figure. Yeah, and even if you so know, good, huh? people liked the design or didn't like the design, even the ones that didn't like the design, you know, they, they were just going to stay true and true to themselves either way. But, it, you know, people on the fence were like, holy fuck, like, I can't, I can't argue with this figure. It's fucking amazing, you know, and it's These a good solid were figure. Lying to themselves. It's, a, it's actually, I'll even say it's a great figure. I don't think it's perfect, but... It's great, and it's actually to me, it's been better than everything they've done since. So, I don't know. But before it dropped, and when it first released, it wasn't the fucking you know everybody's fucking head over heels for it. That was definitely not the case. You know, people forget that it had three runs a long time ago. <laughs> so what you were the what were the? Because uh, I mean, I look at Quake Wave, and he's awesome. He's definitely awesome. But I mean, people act like that was like the second coming of Christ. Like, or would it be a third coming of Christ? Right. Either way, well, they got like it was like... Because, because the only other masterpiece Decepticon, you know, you had Megatron, who was the wrong scale, mm-hmm. and then we had Seekers, which are kind of the right scale, pretty much. They're, you know, they're aligned. And we had, what, Soundwave? Yep. Yeah. And the cassettes. And, you know, the cassettes, I think Greg from Mercy said it best, you know, they're pretty much just accessories anyway. Yeah. So that's the other thing. And plus, he's one of, you know, the big characters. And yeah, yeah, because yeah. They, they fucking, you know, they rammed that motherfucker home with that toy. That That's where the wave came from of, yeah, there's still a couple of detractors here, a couple of people that aren't so happy here. But then the other 99% of everyone is like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I remember having him at shows, you know, right when the market was bubbling. I had the gray and the purple, and I had them for like 200 and 160 and people were like, oh, I can't believe they want that much for that. They want that much for that. And I'm like... He feels like he... If no like, other okay. fucking third party figure feels like it, he does. He feels he like every bit of that You ain't never going to see that, that deal again until now, you know? <laughs> yeah. Because I remember seeing him like going for three and four and five hundred thousand. I was like, fuck no. But he feels like every bit... like. He feels like every single bit, every single dime, nickel, penny of two hundred dollars. I don't. Uh, yeah, he's. he's, he's no, I'm. Here. I'm with you there. Like I, kind of like Mike saying. Like I remember in the fandom, like there was, it was polar opposites. Like people were in or out, and like the ones that were on the fence that didn't get in on that initial run. Mm-hmm. Like, and then after they saw all the in hand pictures, and everyone's like, "Oh shit!" Like this is the real deal. And to your point, man, people were paying astronomical amounts of money. I remember shaking my head seeing people people paying north of three hundred bucks. And then when well, it started it hitting like three fifty, four hundred, yeah, I was like, I can't. Three hundred was not 
the ceiling on that. It was well over 400 yeah. many times on the aftermarket, many times. Yeah. Now, that was more when I, I started shaking my head at 300, and then it just came <laughs> open. It was just like, wow. So you say that, but an Eva Optimus Prime will cost you damn near $1,000 right now. <laughs> say what now? The Eva Optimus. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, the last yeah, time yeah. I looked, the only one I saw was over 800 bucks. Yeah, that's why I got so, a KO rattle right neck. Kind of yeah, thing. that's the thing. Rarity and a badass character, which, I mean, I don't know anything about the Eva. I just know it's so the what, best masterpiece mold there is. So, officially, what was the, the very first, if any of you guys can remember, because I really can't, what was the very first true third party run? Not, not even fucking true. What was the very first third party uh, MP attempt? MP attempt? That's an actual, I think iGear did that with the Seekers. The Seekers, so that was the first third party MP? That's what I'm thinking, because they, they had the whole run around with the Seeker mold. Um, which, uh, man, I feel like I'm jocking Justin's balls here, but T2RX6, he actually had a really great <laughs> spelled out right, reply to someone a while back about that. And he, he, he laid out the whole story about how the mold got switched or stolen or however the fuck that, that was. Mm -hmm. Um, because, you know, they were the ones that made, um, you know, like lightning is the more cartoon looking blue. And they updated the mold to where you didn't have to have hip skirts, you know. And at the time, nobody really cared because Hasbro and Takara were still making, you know, the MPO3 mold and MPO7. So, yeah, now everybody's like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, I'm so tempted to sell my Destroyer now because the fucking MP11 Skywarp is, what, three, four, five hundred dollars and I'm like, eh, this destroyer might be worth some money now, you know. <laughs> but that's just me. Uh, is that is that company? Was it was it fucking mech, mech ideas in the ass? Are they still doing those fucking cone heads or not, man? Because I need mech them. ideas. What are you talking about? There's some mech company ideas. out of like, not, not, it's not really mech ideas. I'm just being an asshole. There, there's there's some company like a British company or some dumb shit. And they're um, making the, the mecha the mecha form, I think, something like that. Whoever the fuck. I want to say I want to say mecha form is a better name for that. Mecha form apotamus, whatever. I, I, I want, any anyone here anything else? Are they still making them? Because I want them shits. Just saw the original designs. Mm -hmm. Those same those same pictures they they got leaked. You know what, man? I haven't heard anything really since that Takara Ramjet surfaced. All of a sudden, they got really quiet. I, I would too if I were them. Even though that fucking shit looks like trash, I would too. Well, except for the head scope, I like the head scope. Yeah, I definitely think the Iger is better on that one. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I think that Iger deal might have been a little bit of hype because I finally got my hands on the uh, dirge. I think it is, or whatever the fuck, man. That shit's so fucking jiggly. Yeah, but how old is that motherfucker now? I don't give a <laughs> shit, probably man. Probably like ten people. And that fucking little teeny baby head looks like they got on Beetlejuice. The the <laughs> witch doctor with the shirt. <laughs> I was so I was so hyped to get it though, man. I was so happy to have it. And I got that bitch on the box, and I was like, I just expected for me. I, I expected to open the box, and the shit was going to fly into the sky and fly around the room and jet form and transform and land in my hands. And when I opened the box. And I took the jet out and the wing fell off. <laughs> and shit was jiggling and the plastic felt all like funny and shit. And I transformed it and finally that little bitty baby head popped up. And I was like, what the fuck is this little bitty baby head? I had never yeah, seen that head. To correct myself real quick, Mechaform is the ones that made the fucking weird ass uh, Sky Guardian jet fire. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Looks absolutely fucking horrible. But I, man, I cannot remember the fucking name of that shit. Because them and somebody else, they showed, um, they showed Seekers, and it wasn't Make Toys, was it? Didn't Make Toys end up showing, like, a silhouette of a Megatron? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they are doing that. I think they Make did. Toys might be making some, but there was another one, and people were saying it was iGear renamed. iGear renamed? But I can't toys? remember the fucking name of it now. Huh. Damn it. Oh, yeah, I, I did hear that. I wonder how much truth there is to that shit. Who knows? All I know is we got a, a Takara Galvatron. Maybe? No. Yeah, well, but we did get Shockwave. So that gives me hope that they might actually try 
a fucking Megatron again. <laughs> I know. I, I know. I'm telling you, they're not going to do it. They're not going to do a fucking gun Megatron. I know. And if it's not a gun I, Megatron, it's not Megatron. I don't want that tank I shit. Didn't see it. I want to see it. I do too, but they're not going to do it. Those bastards. I, I don't have any faith in Takara anymore, dude. I've lost all faith in Takara. Why? What do you have that's so bad that you lost faith? Balls in the form of tracks. <laughs> Aww. Oh, tracks are such balls. Aww. Such balls. See, just... what, what, make, what makes me laugh about this whole thing, people are like, oh, yeah, MP is on the decline and this, that, and the other. Is I'm not saying they're on right? the decline. I just don't have no, any no, faith no, in You're going to let me finish this shit. Go ahead. Go ahead. The, the thing you're Fuck running you into drunk. is that they're making junk characters now. They're not making the big boys. So they're not making the Optimus right now, right? And that's the one, especially MP10. That thing's a fucking badass. But part of that is because they're going to put more effort into the bigger characters. I don't care what they try to say or anything. If You know, fucking Bumblebee, that one was actually pretty fucking good. But you can tell, minor character, smaller toy... They're not going to put that much effort into it. But well, then, I mean, thinking, well, then is, thinking, it still, well, is it still a masterpiece then? Is, is it a masterpiece? It's going to be a fucking monster. And, you know, if they can come up with some other big names, you know, I mean, like the Ratchet and Ironhide, uh, Ironhide is <clears throat> horrible. Ratchet actually looks pretty decent with the same model. Tyler, you hear this guy making my point for me? You hear this guy making my point for right. me? But what I'm saying is you're acting like... You're acting like you're buying a three hundred dollar Trax, and it's meant to be a cheaper MP, so it's not meant to live up to the standard of an MP10. Listen, any toy that costs seventy nine dollars is not cheap, in my opinion. I didn't say that's cheap. I'm just saying in comparison to the the ones they're putting the real effort into, which well, is the big money stuff. Wait, wait, big wait, wait. Character, you buy a junky character, you can't expect the best fucking toy anyway. No, no, no. I'm going to totally disagree with you here, Mike. And let me tell you why. Because when you go back to Wheeljack. Fucking Wheeljack is awesome, and he feels like a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. Fucking Trax feels like what they should be selling on their shelves as generations. Trax feels like an oversized chug. Now, drops the mic and walks away. Wheeljack How about was also that? the first Autobot ever shown on the fucking cartoon. Uh, Trax came along oh, how many, gonna carry how many episodes more. and seasons later? Tyler, I'm going to just leave it to you, Is he even Tyler. episode two? Is he even season two? I'm going to cook you. See, but do you see what I'm saying here? No. I'm going to cook you. <laughs> yeah, but to me, it doesn't matter. I think there has to be some standards, if you're going to name it masterpiece. Like, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, at least to me, like, I don't think the quality should vary from figure to figure. Like, if I'm collecting masterpiece, I'm collecting masterpiece. I don't, the aesthetics, the qualities, the builds, all of that should be consistent throughout the entire line it shouldn't vary figure to figure i so think what's what, different about a masterpiece tracks than, than say a lambor a red alert shit i'll even say lambor felt like a masterpiece it's it's to me it's the designer they switched the designers i've always and seen I, that. what i'm saying is what what feels what specifically feels different is it the, the material is shittier. The material, the weight of the figure. Does it come together the, the same figure? way or what? Because from pictures, it looks similar. I mean, not oh. then, not maybe technically in design, but what I'm saying is it looks like it's they're still following the same pattern. Are uh, we talking specifically about tracks? Yes. Okay, I think most people's issues with tracks is the backpack and the fact that the head and the shoulders don't really connect all that well together. And he feels light as fuck. All right, so the head, not connecting, I can understand, but what exactly are they whining about with the backpack? Well, Have you ever seen the G1 fucking toy? <laughs> oh, I'm with you there. I get it. But I think it's. I think the backpack, backpack is twofold. One, I do think it should sit maybe half as high as it should than, or than what it is right now. I think it's sitting up too high. But two, like when you turn it sideways and you can look right through it, I think that's where – a lot of people have an issue. Not to mention that motherfucker feel like fucking McDonald's toys. The backpack feels like McDonald's toys. Like well, he is. So what makes, I just want to know what makes you think the the backpack should be lower though. It, it doesn't have to be lower. It just has to be. It just has to be better executed. I th well, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to the guy that said it should be lower. <laughs> well, I think it's it looks it looks too high. And if you look at the G1 toy, yes, it. I mean, it's tall too, but it's higher even, than his wings. I know, but even if, <laughs> even in the animation. Though, like, it seemed a little tighter. Like, it was closer to his head. So, and I, I think that's part uh, of it. Oh, okay. So, so, when it's not in the real world, 
That's it works better. Okay, well, here's, <laughs> here's the deal. Like, and don't get me wrong. Like, I, there's a lot of things about Traxxas I like. I like his paint. I think the Corvette mode is perfect. But I think when you transform him, I, I, I think there's parts of the transformation that feel masterpiece. But, like, I think part of it, and, and like, this is just me. Like, when you got done transforming him, you didn't have that, like, aha moment. No. Nah. Like, you didn't get that excitement of completing the transformation, and he looked great. Like, you were just that, done. That's like, the I got done. with Lambor. The Lambor mold, those legs pissed me off. I like thought that so shit was amazing, dude. The fact that the vehicle is that size and transforms out. that Because uh, Lambor was one of the, that was the first car MP, right? Yeah. Am I correct? Yeah, that shit to me was amazing, the way they, the, the way they engineered the legs to flip out like that and then rotate and you had to have that, that top piece that folded down. That shit was astonishing. I thought yeah, I that didn't, shit I don't was like awesome. the way it flips around and there's a bunch of gaps and you gotta, there's like no solid tab for a couple pieces. That's my complaint with that one. I think that the upper half transforms great and it looks great, but there's just something about it, the way those legs are set up on them. Cause you know, even just looking at it from the side, you see all the hollowness so, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? If you're saying tracks, like, you can see through it or it looks so skinny. To me, I'm looking at, you know, going back to their first cars, you know, they were bigger, but eh, they still had plenty of holes in the design. Well, yeah, but, okay, so let, let's, just, let's just cut down to it. You take, you take tracks and, <laughs> and you take tracks in your right hand. Wait, which, one, which hand do you masturbate with? Is it the right or the left? Was yeah, that personal right. information? <laughs> so whatever <laughs> you take tracks in whatever hand you don't jerk off with and then you take track then you take the uh the lambo into the hand you do jerk off with right because it's gonna be a stronger hand right and, and lambo is, is heavier and you weigh it out and you tell me which one you think feels more like an mp that fucking tracks is so light it's like i can just throw him he'll fly in the air like a kite like a pretty little blue kite that wants he's to be not a girl. supposed to be a fucking fat ass it doesn't have to be fat. He has to be. He has to have some weight to it. He has to have some material to it. I mean, you look at you look at. The, the, I, I say the difference between Tracks and Lambor is the difference between Grenader, Grenadier, or whatever the fuck his name is, and the uh, the the um, the Bad Cube variety pack of that fucking other Insecticons. Light as fuck. I'm just saying. But I, isn't isn't the Fans Toys one possibly overweighted? Oh, how can you be overweighted? <laughs> Chicks like a heavy dick. How can it be overweighted? No way, dude. No fucking way. <laughs> no, I think if anything, to go back, I, I and I think it has to do more with the designer themselves. Yeah, I, and, I, I, mean, I agree. and everybody loved Hasui. You know, he did MP10 and so on. But I think we're getting now. We're getting back into. Uh, what's his name? Kobayashi, the guy who started it with like. Wait, MP4. wait, what else did Kobayashi. the guy that did MP10? What else did he do? Because I, uh, I want to negate that that positivity remark. Right so Hisui, let me see. So Hisui did 10, 11, what's 12, 11? 13, 14. Him, so he's done Prime. He did. Him, he did. He redid the the Starstream. Get him Hisui. Okay, so twelve was Lambor, right? Karate chop. Okay, and <laughs> 13. Soundwave. I'm pulling it up. Key, right y'all. Okay. It's Soundwave. Key, okay. y'all. How do you not know this? Key, y'all. Soundwave is after our, our fiasco. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's I'm true, Tyler. The what the fuck? Right now. So, same right. guy. So, Do same guy did all the Lamborghinis. Same guy did, let's see, 18 started the Datsuns, right? So, he did he did all the Datsuns. And he those just were fucking Will magical. Jack. Oh, that drops the mic. God damn it, I so, dropped the mic. And then it jumps back. It says, uh, Get him, my no, suit. He doesn't get no credit for MP11 because I geared did half the work anyway. Fuck that. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. That was some, play, <laughs> that was some, some IP I infringement right there. <laughs> I think it's going back. And, and the crazy part, and this is the part that I'm sort of okay with, not really, but from what all the rumors are saying is Hasui's going to work on the new Transformer movie line toys. Oh, man. So maybe you might get a decent one. I'm still not going to buy them, but maybe they'll be slightly better. When is that movie coming out anyways? 
next year, 17, I think. Really? Come on, Hopsui. You, you got the talent. You can wait till next year to do that shit. Get back on the MPs, man. There's no fucking way in the world that other... What's the other guy's name? Uh, Yuki. There's no way Yuki Ono yeah. should be goddamn back on the MPs, man. Yuki Ono hey, should hey, not be on the Hang on. So you have Kobayashi did one in, like... The early ones. Hasui is the one who who did the you later. You guys are one. just taking movie names of Asians. This is <laughs> this is so racist. This is so racist. racist. We're in an anime world right now. <laughs> that is Mike. Why don't Lines, we just start calling him? Method, why don't we just start calling him Method Man, Raekwon, Jizza? <laughs> so wait, which one is Yu Gi Oh now? Yu Gi Oh is which one? Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> what the fuck ever his name was? What was the fuck? <laughs> What the, are you talking about? The fuck tart that's fucking up the MP game right now. Oh, uh, Kobayashi. Okay, yeah, Kobe Bryant's fucking it up right now. Kobe Bryant's a ball hog. There we go. Exactly. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Get out the game. You see Kobe's getting out. Kobe, you get out. Get out. Get the fuck out. So yeah, bring bring back Hasui. Who did who did uh, Ultra Magnus? Magnus was what twenty two, I think. I thought I thought Bumblebee was twenty two. Hang on. No, so, you're right. Ultra Max was 22. You're right. Okay, so 22 was Hasui, and he started it, and Kobayashi finished it. See, now maybe Ultra that's... Ultra sucks anyway, though. No, 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 no. But maybe that's why, though. Because th- there's Ultra Max. He comes across as, oh, man, this is good, but it's just missing something. I'll tell you what is just missing. They swapped off, and then fucking uh, Kapachu, Kapachu came in there and fucked the shit up, man. <laughs> he fucked it up, dude. Thanks, everybody. Say thanks, Kapachu. For our Japanese thanks. listeners, Hasui and Kobayashi. Yeah, yeah. We, don't, we speak American. We speak freedom on this motherfucker. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, the thing the thing that gets me with Ultra Magnus is he's a beautiful figure, but he, he is, is so goddamn worthless. Oh, uh, two hundred dollars, and you want masterpiece articulation? You ain't getting it out of that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, I give you that. I give you that, dude. You gotta buy a fucking upgrade kit for a masterpiece. That's just not fair. And that upgrade kit don't even do shit, really. Hey, was there an upgrade kit for the upgrade kit? I could have swore I saw that. Am I wrong? I, what, what are they gonna do I with it? Seen that. I, don't, I haven't. Uh, I mean, I know the one I had. It had uh, the shoulder upgrade, which added like four degrees to the shoulder rotation. You need every degree he can get. Or shoulder lift, however the fuck you want to say it. And then you got a couple pieces for the gun to make the gun bigger. So. Oh, he didn't come with a whole. Yeah. I thought he came with a whole new gun. That's that's all oh, those are parts and pieces. No, it, it parts formed onto the gun. Uh, you could attach it to. I want to say the front and the back. I wonder why they wouldn't just make a whole new gun. Instead, I guess it's cheaper. Wait, it, it, it's not cheaper to make the parts. I don't know, Mixter. I'm just wondering. I'm just, I'm just spitballing. Why don't you write a letter to the fucking editor and ask that motherfucker? God the, damn. The Why are you always arguing with me? Oh, no, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. <laughs> fucking Coxsuey fucking it up for everybody. That's bullshit. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay, so um, what was that? I'm t- just going to say this right now. I'm going to say this right now. I'm looking at who made Gundog. Was that Make Toy? Yeah. Yeah, that was make toys. Right. On, yeah, on, on, on the on the follow up to that fucking beautiful ass uh, Chrome Dome they did. Huh? Make toys what? did Chrome Dome, right? Yeah, they did a couple of. Them. Yeah. But I ain't worried about that. I don't, I don't give a shit about those. Wait, wait, what? That's nice man. You wait, need what? To get him. Yeah, he's fucking. I, what do you mean a couple? Is it only, there's only one? He did. No, Maybe. he said Coppola, the name. Yo, yeah, Coppola. So, yeah, Coppola. Oh, oh, he said the toy name. I missed that part on a toy show. What are you even talking about? I don't fucking speak third party. Fucking cut cold. <laughs> well, actually, you know what's funny is when I first saw, I first saw Gundog, mm-hmm. I, I wasn't really, I was like, eh, whatever. I'm not, you know, two and a hound, whatever. Dude, that's an awesome But figure. now that I have fucking the visualizers, or not the visualizers, um, the fu- their fucking uh, reflector. Yeah, that's visual. Now, looking at it, now I'm looking at it and I'm like, eh, that's fucking perfect. Fuck yeah. yeah. I'm going to buy that. <laughs> Fuck, fucking Make Toys is right. They're right behind Fans Toys. And I only think, I think they're only considered right behind Fans Toys because Fans Toys has the hype. I think Make Toys is doing it, man. Yeah, I, at this point, I'm, I'm literally thinking about ordering this right fucking now. I forgot about this. What's that, the gun dog? I've, I've, had, I've had Coppola, the uh, the Chrome Dome, and mm-hmm. he's a fucking badass. He's just not for me. Uh, the Headmasters, I'll stick to you know G1, Vintage, if I want those. 
And yeah, the the scum dog is pretty badass. Does somebody I know that, if they're, this, they're if, if, any, if everything they make is half as good as the reflector, it's gonna be a badass. That gun dog is the shit. The good. shit. Because when I got the visualizers, I told everybody, I was like, dude, there's no way Fans Toys beats this. No way. And they're like, oh, you're fucking crazy. And then some more pictures came out, and they're like, eh. You know what, man? I was on that train. I I waited forever to pick up Visualizer. But then, like, that last go-around of the Fans Toys photos, I didn't like that. Those big shoulder pads on the middle guy, I was like, uh, makes toys of this. I was was going to get both, but the more and more I saw the Fans Toys, I Money like, bags? No, nah, not really. I was like, I'm good. I'm good. And see, I wouldn't mind toys. having either another Make Toys set or the Fans Toys. Because I don't think the Fans Toys looks bad by any means. But, you know, Perceptor was always a cloned character. So yeah, I was going to say, isn't it like... Makes sense. Yeah, isn't it like multiple... Like, wasn't he just like a drone soldier with like a, a few of the motherfuckers? Pretty much. But there was all kinds of screenshots where there's, you know, three of them and then two die. And then they show three of them again. And then two die, and then there's only like one, G1 and then three cartoon. more show up. So. Fucking G one cartoon was so fucked up, and I find I, so. See, I love that shit. My favorite is the one where Starscream is talking to Starscream when Megatron and Optimus are fighting in the fucking pit. <laughs> that shit cracked me up because they're like looking at each other, making these weird gestures. I'm like, you're the same dude, dude. <laughs> I swear to I, God, I was like the uh, the Combaticons when they're separated. But if you look in the back, there's Bur- Bruticus. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, he's just, and the combined Bruticus is the same size as the other five pieces of, of Bruticus. Yeah, it's good. Fuck yeah. I love I love that. I love Maybe that's where all these S D figures are coming from. <laughs> I, I just love Maybe the idea SD. that this is that, that cartoon is the arguing base point for everything that we do with Transformers now when that shit didn't even know what it was doing. I just love that, dude. But that's the beauty of it, because there's so many different twists and turns and with a twist to argue about. It it makes it great. With a twist. Yes, I would I would agree with that, man. I would agree with that. Because if they'd done the cartoon right the first time, it wouldn't have lasted two seasons. <laughs> hey, so good. That brings up a point that I had. I, I don't know if I got to enter this one into the uh chat for uh or into the wall for a uh, topic, but I guess it's a twofold question. So, like, first of all, let's put G1 to the side, right? And we're going to include Beast Wars as much as I hate it. What do you think, as far as the, the um, renditions that follow, different cartoons that follow, that, that kind of revisited Transformers, which one do you think did the best job of actually giving us a good cartoon series? <laughs> Prime. Think so? You stole my answer. Prime, I'm Prime was Prime by too. far, for me, the best series that's come out since. Is that because it was so dramatic, or what do you think? It, it it wasn't any more or less dramatic to me anyway than the other ones. It just it had a they had the Michael Bay music had, playing in the background all the time, and it came right off the strength of the Michael Bay movies. I think that's what gave us such a boost. It was a good show though. I I just think you know they had to go through their growing pains uh-huh. with you know Machine Wars, Beast Wars, R.I.D. You know, then you get into the trilogy, and they were you know they went from being super popular to having no real direction basically, and they weren't the big hitters on the block anymore. They were just another company. And so they were just searching with every show. What about Energon and uh, what's the other shit? Uh, Energon. Energon, Armada, Cybertron. Yeah, that dumb shit. Trilogy. Yeah, and I I, I honestly, I didn't even really watch those because, you know, those were out, but towards the end of that was when Classics was coming out and Universe 2.0 had already been running. And I was just, you know, and I've always been more into the toys than anything else, but Prime was just a series that looked good, it had great voice acting, had great stories, you know, they weren't too simple, but they weren't, you know, anything truly adult to them, you know, they were still kind of preteen and younger, but they just had a good fucking feel to them, like they were just badass, you know, Megatron, and especially, that's that's another thing. That was the last Megatron. I yeah, that, that Megatron was, was a fucking badass. That is still one of my favorite designs for Megatron ever. That, that's the pistol. Fir- He's the baddest looking fucking one. <laughs> that's the that was the first Megatron design to come after the original real Megatron design that I was willing to accept. Uh, what say you, Tyler? No, I I agree. I definitely think it was Prime. I think the storytelling piece mm-hmm. was 
much better, but I think aesthetically, like just the look of the show was much cleaner. Like it looked like there was a lot more TLC put in to, mm-hmm. to the show. And that's kind of what got my kids into it too, was watching prime and them asking a lot of questions and it kind of opened the door up for them to get in, get into, to G one, but they still gravitate to, to prime. I mean, yeah, I just think it was really, really good until they hit that beast hunter saga. And then that kind of killed it for me. And I think the one thing with prime too, is that, you know, I, I got to go back to G one because if you look at even like the episode names, they're not names of like kids show episodes. No, like they're aren't. they're pretty hardcore. And then when you look at Prime, it doesn't look like a kids show. But you know it is. So like kids are like, oh, I don't even know if I'm allowed to watch this. This looks dark and you know <laughs> kind of adulty. But you, you look, know? look at and the then, time that but they're allowed to watch it because you know it doesn't look like a typical cartoon at all. I was going to say, look at the time that I don't know about you guys, but here in Georgia, when uh, Prime was on the air on the hub, it aired on the hub. And it came on, I think, at like eight o'clock at night or some shit like that. What time? Probably, did it, what time yeah. did it air for you guys? Uh, whenever the DVR turned on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. No, I was. I was gonna say we were West Coast. We had it er- earlier. Really? My my kids didn't. My kids uh, actually they they watched it some, but I was more because they were they were smaller then. They're old man. They don't give a fuck about anything but electronics. But I um I I used to love that show. But I, I'm gonna. Go on a limb and say I'm tied between that and um, and this is going to be surprising. But the uh, what was that that animated cartoon they did, Transformers animated or whatever that shit was, or was it Transformers R.I.D. You know what I'm talking about? Where well, Prime, two, they were two separate things. Yeah, R.I.D. Well, there's two R.I.D.s now, but you're probably talking animated. Yeah, I think I am talking animated. That was the one where the, they, had, they had a little girl. And it had like really like Looney Tunes looking artwork. The, the artwork was really stylized. Yes, it was, yeah. had a very heavy, like Japanimation type of yeah lean yeah. to it. I, when it yeah. when it initially when it initially came on, I thought that shit was stupid as fuck. And then I stopped and I, and I was watching it, and the story started developing. And they were going into Cybertron. They were bringing out that was that's what what I missed from the original G one. That none of the other cartoon shows were really doing. They were going into the Cybertron. They were going into the Cybertron. They were going into Cybertron, the mythos of Cybertron. They were bringing out more Cybertronians. You know what I'm saying? There yeah, were more characters Prime in the did. episode. Huh? Prime did. Prime did. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing on, on that. I'm not disagreeing with you at all because I, I love Prime. I love Prime. Since that animated, animated and Prime was the best two for me because, like, with, with Prime, they went into the records. I mean, they went into the fucking records. You had never seen. I don't, was was the records even fucking real until that point? Except for in the, in the comic book realm. Like I think I, that was the I first time you got a reference in a cartoon. Show. Yeah, because I don't think it was. I don't think G one mentioned that's records. That's also that's also when the records were first referenced in the comics, though, wasn't it? Uh, quite right possibly. Two thousand ten. Quite well, I knew about. Here's what I do. Here's what I do know. I knew about the records. Uh, prior to ever watching Prime, before Prime had ever came on, so that means the comic, the, the the reference to it in the comics had already been around, but it damn sure wasn't in the G One cartoon. So that was developed much much later. Oh yeah. yeah. So uh, the, the the idea that they went into the records, they went into uh, which I guess you got to give a little bit of credit to like Cybertron and Energon and all that bullshit because they went into like how you had Primus and you had Unicron and they were like the two gods or whatever you want to call it you know they went into that and i, and I really like that but i just couldn't get past the foolishness of um the 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 characters and the, the dialogue i couldn't get past it do it but prime and prime and animate i think were two of the best yeah <laughs> nobody cares <maybe. laughs> We're done with it. <laughs> awesome conversation, Prime, gentlemen. Prime, Prime was good. I could just never sink my teeth into animated. Dude, if you ever get a chance to just watch it and just and just let it just go, and I know I sound like a Beast Wars fan now. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> if you, you are an animated apologist now. They go into the history. They like on on animated. They go into the history of Transformers, like. All the way back in the in the time and, and talking about fucking uh, Omega Supreme and his position they had they, they they went into the females the fembots Alita they they did a good ass job they just had to deal with the silliness of it to get to it and then they changed a lot of characters I, I didn't like that either though but that was the first time I'd ever seen Lockdown that's 
because that's the first time he ever showed up. Yeah, that was pretty fucking dope, man. That was pretty fucking dope. <laughs> Shit. Poor Mickey. I never seen the records before that. They weren't in G one ones because they weren't in G one, Mickey. Let's follow along. <laughs> yeah, Mike the mean drunk. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when I'm sober. Dick missiles. I'm just gonna say dick missiles today. <laughs> dick missiles today, bro. <laughs> <laughs> look, as a matter of fact, I think I found a sound effect for it. Hold on. Is it, is it pure? <laughs> ah, dick missiles. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> that, was that was dick missiles. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> All right, let me stop. Bang. So, yeah. All I'm saying is, hey, somebody buy some shit so I can buy this gun dog that I forgot that I wanted. Dude, gun dog is the shit. You got to get your hands on that, man. You need to get man. the animated color. Get the light green one. Yeah, I got the dark green one and yeah, I still see, want I have the one. I have the United and it looks just like that. I want one different. <laughs> hey, do either one of you, why are you actually right, Mike? Who's got that fucking, uh, that fucking records weapon set that Iger did? Is that shit hard to find now? Is what hard to find? Um, cookies. Oh, God. The iGear... <laughs> the iGear <laughs> Cup records weapon set, it came in like the weapons locker and shit? Yeah, that's usually not available. The only thing really... The, um, the, uh, the cup heads, the only ones you can find for those online really are the e-hobby versions. Yeah, I don't even it's care about those fucking cup heads because that chug cup just ain't working. We need a, we need a new cup. But I want those fucking uh, record weapons, man. Anybody listening, man, hit, hit, hit me up. I need that shit, dude. And he'll pay you in six months. Sure will. <laughs> so I don't put nothing before my plastic crack addiction, man. Well, no. <laughs> except, for, except for bills and my family and my job. I, I, school. I, 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 <laughs> only thing I put before my, pla my plastic crack addiction is more plastic crack. And then all that other shit you talked about. <laughs> All that other shit. I guess that answers that question. Why the fuck yeah, don't we have a trail breaker? Of them with it and without it. Why don't we have a trail breaker? Why is no one trying to make trail breaker? No one. I think we're getting there. I uh, think with Make Toys making uh, Inferno and Grapple, like it wouldn't surprise me if they got. Uh, we're always getting there, aren't we, Tyler? We're always. Always. Getting there. We can't get a Falcon. We can't get a Falcon six-inch figure in the Marvel Legends. We can't get motherfucking a trail breaker, you know. <laughs> do we see some? Do we see some kind of a streamline uh, theme going on here, or is it just me? They're You're just being sensitive. Am I being sensitive? You're being sensitive. <laughs> sensitive. Oh, well, listen! No. Listen to the white guy telling the black guy he's too sensitive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Didn't see that coming. Would have never guessed and heard that. Huh. These minorities are just angry. For You're no just reason. You, guys, you guys are going to get me killed at the next time. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Do that motherfucker go right there. There you go. And the funny thing is, everyone will think I'm Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> no, you oh, you that big white dude on, on Toad Detox? He kind of tall. We're going we to let you alone this time, homeboy. I'm like, next time. nah, look, you, you miss out. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, so someone mentioned to me earlier that, that the um, that fucking Transforming rollout, whatever the fuck they are, their jazz, the price point has gone up to like 120 or something like that or more. Yeah, I saw that too. What, what the fuck are they about? thinking? Huh? Oh, that new... Okay, I thought the, you were talking jazz. about a convention. I was like, what the fuck convention got a jazz? <laughs> nah. That T, that Transformer rollout jazz. I, was, price I thought jumped. you meant rollout roll call. That was my bad. Nah, I'm, I'm wondering yeah. uh, if, they're, if they've, uh, they've done some re-engineering work on that and it's going to be some high quality on it. Or are they trying to do some price gouging? Yeah, that... It's the only jazz. Why not? Yeah, for yeah, now. That's the only way they get it. Because that you know that's going to be one that comes out. I mean, it's fucking jazz. Yeah, but you would have you would have thought that they would have all like Takar would have. Well, I, I say I hate to make this comment because everybody that talks about masterpieces talks about this and says this, but still I have no choice, right? You would have thought that Takar would have been put out a fucking masterpiece jazz, and I know the Porsche licensing bullshit. God. Yeah. I think that's probably the only hang up. They're probably pushing stuff that they don't need a license for or that it doesn't cost as much. Mm -hmm. Trying to just, you know, stack up in the bank a little bit before they got to invest something big and they have to make sure 
Because, you know, on their side, they're probably thinking, too, well, if the demand goes down in the meantime, we're, we're not going to pay big bucks for this license that, you know, we're not going to sink it into a line that's on the decline. Yeah. You know, they're not going to pump out a bunch of fucking, you know, that'd be like if, you know, the past two weeks I see, um, fuck, I don't even know, a G1 ape face sell for 100 and then 100 and then 90 and then 85 and then 70 and then 80, and then 70, and then 60, you know, I'm not going to keep buying them at $80 or whatever if I'm trying to flip them. You know, I'm going to be like, oh, well, if it's only hitting 60, uh, you know, I can't pay 80. <laughs> hey, you remember the episode where the, where the, um, the G1 episode where the uh, Transformers became human or some shit like that? Remember that? Mm-hmm. Uh, Cliff Jumper wasn't uh, in that episode, right? No, it was Rodimus, Magnus, R.C., there's one more. Springer, maybe? Right. Yeah, yeah, it was Springer. Okay, so if Cliff Jumper was human, what race would he be? How, how would you picture him? <laughs> I'm not going to answer this. <laughs> come on, Tyler. Tyler, come on. Tyler, Tyler I'm, ask, I'm specifically honest. asking you this question, Tyler. You want to be on the show or not, goddammit? Risk your life. <laughs> Let's go. How bad Welcome do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, also, though. Also, what race would Jazz be? <laughs> That one, uh, every everybody already knows. <laughs> Is what? What is it, Tyler? What is it, Tyler? What is it, Tyler? Hmm? What is it? And you want to know why? Yeah, I'm Tyler. not playing this game. <laughs> no, but seriously, on on, on <laughs> Cliff Jumper though, what what both both of you guys, either one of you guys, what how would you what, what do you think he would look like if he was human? Like, what would his character be? His demeanor is, you know, what would he be like? Who did his voice? Casey Kasem. Nah, would... fuck all that Casey Kasem <laughs> shit. Come on, dude. Come on, give it to me. What do you think? What do you, when you see the character, when you hear him talking, I know you don't think this is Casey Kasem. Sean Green. So what do you think when you see Cliff Jumper? Because I'm trying to figure out why the fuck they have. You said who Cliff would he be Jumper. in real life? Sean Green is that his name? Who? Fucking from Idle Hands. He does Robot Chicken. Seth Green. Seth, Seth Green. Green. That guy. Yeah, That's I kind of do. Yeah, it's kind of do get a Seth Green vibe. He's fucking redhead. He's fucking little and tiny and weird and says fucked up shit. Yeah, but but Cliff Jumper was tough. <laughs> Cliff Jumper was a tough guy. He kind of had that little man complex. Yeah, he had he anger issues. And Seth no, Green has that. He wanted to be a tough guy, but he wasn't. Yeah, he got the little man complex too. <laughs> So okay, so he's a white guy then. So why haven't they made him yet? There's nothing to hold him back. Why no, 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 no. He's a he's a because he's a Porsche. He's a, he's a, all right, let's Cliff see. Jumper. Everybody keeps saying it, and I just don't see him. I don't see that alt mode as being a Porsche, dude. It's supposed to be a nine forty four, I think. Where did that originate? Who who came up with that shit? Because I've never seen any image of him that looks like a Porsche at all. Like, I remember having a toy and all of that shit. Don't go quiet on me now, guys. I'm asking another question, dude. <laughs> I'm Googling Porsche 944. Google's, yeah, let, let, let us, let's get to the bottom of this shit. Because I, I see no reason why they haven't made that cliff jumper. And that bullshit, no, I'm going to say bullshit. That red bumblebee is not um, a sufficient stand-in. Maybe that was just the inspiration for the G1 Minibot. They just, you know, it just turned out looking like an SD figure. <laughs> I wonder, man. Well, look at this G1. G1 Cliff Jumper. Let's go with this here. On the Googles, on the interwebs. Because the All other, right. you know, most of the other mini bots have pretty, you know, they have some distinct traits to let you know what's up. You know, like there's a dune buggy, a tank, fucking box truck, front end of a tractor, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. A little Humvee looking dude. Okay, so here's a side by side image, I guess, of that Porsche you're talking about, Tyler, right well, next was, to Cliff Jumper. I was gonna say I just posted it on the wall. Okay, let's take a look at that shit. On the on the wall. What are you talking about? The wall in the jacket. <sighs> the group, Mike. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> are you the not in this group, wall, Mike? <laughs> the secret. Yeah. Wall. When we don't talk about. Shh. Okay, yeah, but what about a side by side with the cartoon image though, Tyler? You kind of dropped the ball on that one, pal. How about that? Hold on. I got. I got it here, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna do I'm, it now. I'm just saying, it's got it's got the slanted nose, it's got the windshield, it's got the spoiler. It just looks like they just scrunched it. Yeah, like but they it, just took a section out of it and made it smaller. But is that really what he was intended to be, or is that what we've adopted him as? That's the thing, though. Is someone might have done an interview. One of the G1 designers could have been like, "My inspiration was this." Just like, didn't you just post something up that showed uh, some 
random crazy concept Lamborghini, and that was shown and told to be the inspiration for Rod, for Hot Rod. So what? Didn't you put that up in one of the groups? What are you talking about? One of the t- original toy makers saw. Oh, like a, a yeah, but I, I, I shared that that's shit. That's what I didn't... he based a rod, a Hot Rod on. That, so that was a share. Maybe that was that's a share. where this is coming from. You heard me right? That was a share. That wasn't something that I created or, or some image that I found and said, this is what it is. I just shared that shit because it was like toy news. Hey, so. That's what I fucking said. I said you shared a picture that said that. See how we communicate? So on that wall, I, <laughs> so on the wall, on that magic wall that Mike seems to not know about, <laughs> I just posted the pic of a side by side with the uh, cliff jumper and that Porsche that, that Tyler just shared. Is that the yeah, same? It, it the looks same just like it. Yeah. I guess it does. I guess you're right. Maybe the wheel wells are a little different, but wait a minute, that. no, Tyler. The one that you posted, that Porsche you posted, does not look like this Porsche. Well, the one you posted has got the sports package on it. Is that I what gave it you is? the basic one. We don't do basic, homie. <laughs> I, th- I think we are basic, homie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I see. I see what you're saying, Tyler. I think you're right about that. But I mean, when you look at that fucking, when you look at that animation artwork. No one would ever guess it's a fucking Porsche. Couldn't they get away with just fucking making it? Make it, goddammit. Damn, stop playing. No, because then, you know, Porsche will sue. Hasbro. Okay. Well, why hasn't Third Party made one yet? Why has Third Party not made a cliff jumper yet? It's like it's, like it's common sense. They made a thousand fucking bumblebees. Why is Third Party not made They're doing a thousand other fucking things that don't fucking make no goddamn sense. Because yeah. everybody's doing Insecticons and Dinobots. Oh, and yeah, true that. Else right now. True that, who? True that. The thing is, I we're going to end up with another wave of shit. Just like we are with the combiners, you know, there's going to be, you know, eight devastators. Except it's going to be for us. It's going to be eight fucking, you know, hounds, reflectors. We'll probably get like three or four jazzes within the same fucking six to eight months. That kind of thing. I think I know why the fucking that third party companies they see one guy doing it, so they do it. Or they all do it, not just because. Uh, obviously, they do it because you know. They see it selling, so hey, why not throw our hands in the pot too? But I think they do it like kind of like camouflage, or like you know, like ducking behind the ducking behind a bus to avoid the bullets from Hasbro. So <laughs> like, you know, like like a kindergartner, and you go up to him and say, "Why the fuck are you talking to the class?" And the kindergartner says, "Well, Mike's doing it too. Tyler's doing it too." So if like Fast Toys and MMC and three more companies are making the same fucking Dinobots. And then when Hasbro go after one of them, they can say, well, shit, the other guys are doing it. You sit under them. Could be. That's just me being foolish, though. But, you know, since MMC is a make a dino box, I ain't going to say nothing about that. Fucking joke, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I think, that, I, think it's more of, I, I think a lot of these companies have more stuff done and designed uh-huh. than what they're letting us know. Mm-hmm. And I just think when somebody throws up their design of like, oh, hey, we're putting out our... I think, like, the Galvatron one was perfect, right? So, like, everybody else came out and said Galvatron, or they were dropping theirs. And then I think Fans Toys did theirs on purpose where they, all of a sudden they're like, oh, yeah, hey, by the way, guys, we're doing one too. And I think it's yeah. one of those – they're trying to stay relevant. That way all that Galvatron money doesn't go into one company's pocket. I believe you there. I don't think they have it done yet, but I believe you. Yeah. Come up with a quick render and put it up yeah. there and, hey, we're doing one too. Yeah, I think fans was just, just feeling themselves on that shit. Like, really? You gonna fuck with KFC, bro? <laughs> fans <laughs> toys, dude. Look, hold on. Stop right there. Hey, hey, hey. Chow Long. Chow Long. Sketch that shit up right quick. Chow Long sketches that shit up right quick. Yeah, drop that. They drop it, and it's like, bitch, we're fans toys. And everybody says, fuck KFC. Fuck fucking x trans We're waiting on fans toys because they got the big dick. That's what I'm thinking. Mickey and Dicks. Keep bringing it up, man. Mickey Dick. and Dicks. Hey. Dick and Mickey's. That could be. Hey. Dick missile. <laughs> Shit. That is so absurd. <laughs> <laughs> You've been talking to Oscar too much. Uh, um, like crazy mm. sound effects. <laughs> so you guys don't collect legends at all, right? <laughs> Talking Marvel Legends or le- Legend Size Transformers? Marvel the Legends. Answer, the, the answer is no to both of them. Hey, so no one's in those on those. Um, I was actually talking Marvel Legends, but no one's in those uh, those Legend Scale uh, Dinobots coming out. They look pretty fucking good. Nope. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Gosh. I ain't paying fifty dollars for a Legends figure. I'll sell them for fifty dollars. I ain't buying 
a fucking inch and a half tall toy. For how much? How much thing. is that? That pack supposed to cost? They're coming out as a group, right? As a box set, right? I don't know. Everyone I see, they're basically thirty bucks or more each. Really? From like Iron Factory and shit. Oh, yeah. I might. I might not be in for those things because I'm not paying that much for that shit either. Yeah, fuck that. If, if they did, if they did all of them for like a hundred dollars, I would do that. Like in one pack. But that aside, I was, looking, I was looking into getting the Soundwave one, but then I had to get it with Perceptor and some other bullshit. And I'll tell you what, I'll look it up right now. So the Iron Factory versions are. So I was initially bringing up the Marvel Legends thing, the Marvel Legends thing, to say that um, Oscar Alonzo, big up to Oscar Alonzo, he uh, sent me a pic that he found the uh, Marvel Legends uh, exclusive, Wal- I think it's a Walgreens exclusive uh, Daredevil, the gold one. But she guys don't give a fuck. You have, I just you, saw it. I just saw it last night, actually. Really, dude? Yeah. I, I, made need, a, you, I need you to I go. Made and, a, huh? I made a run run to the store for the wife to get her ice cream, and it was there. Tyler, talk to me offline. Talk to me offline, Tyler. Whisper sweet numptions in my ear. I need that. If figure. you need it, I'll go pick it up for you. We need that. I'll pay. I'll, I'll gladly pay you next week for a <laughs> for a daredevil tonight. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh my god! You're 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 talking the one that's like in the '70s outfit, right? Like yellow. And yeah, kind of orange, that yeah. is the one, dude. I need that. Yeah, was there? yeah, dude. I mean, he's he's not valuable. He's not worth anything, Tyler. Don't worry about that part. I'm just saying. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's not a toy. It's not a toy, bro. It's not a toy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hey, I so I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I got you. I'll go. I'll grab it. Oh, good looking out, man. I square you up on that, man. Hey, I, I wanna. Um, I know we don't do. We typically don't do shout outs and all that shit because we were in and we were out. But and uh we, we really don't do a lot of stuff the other the other uh podcasts do. But um for our listeners, we, we do have um in our in our uh comment area and descri- in, in show description, we do have a running list of the shows that we fucks with, the people that we fucks with that we really appreciate. Um just in the fandom period, because they're friends of ours. So I but I definitely want to give a shout out to the um to the Shattercast podcast, or big up to the Shattercast podcast, and to the ROC and to the Realm podcast, because those guys, man, they're always showing toy detox love when they show. I mean, not even just like, not even just like saying, "Hey, go watch toy detox." Those guys are cool. They literally listen to the show and talk about some of the points that we bring up in our show. I think that's real cool. So I think it's worth bringing that up to mention. Mm, yeah. So. Yeah, brave. Crickets. You're brave. You're, you're right, brave. We really appreciate it. So, guys, so Dust Mites, so all, all you guys, so uh, Greg for Mercy, you see I showed you love and these other fucking bastards. You didn't even give a fuck because they're too busy online shopping for gun dogs and shit. No, actually, uh, dick missiles. Dick missiles. Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> Dick missile. Stop doing that shit, Mike. Damn. <laughs> Extra shit that we don't mind motherfuckers hearing and put that shit together as it shows so they can just hear some of this crazy ass shit that we talk about. Mm-hmm. Like fucking you know, talent. You, you know I was fucking with you when I said that, right? I know that, dude, but I'm, I wanted to get that other part out anyways. <laughs> I'm trying to be thorough with shit. So like, so like fucking my, so Milestone show, uh, let's say it's 25, the, the fans will be able to listen and hear how Tyler's going to get like Anally raped after this show immediately after. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's getting prison raped right Nobody after. Nobody wants this to hear that. For real, or not. Clear <laughs> it out, white boy. Uh, <laughs> Tyler, you ever seen Penitentiary? <laughs> you, what? you ever seen a movie called Penitentiary? No. Oh man, that's one of those classic black exploitation movies. Uh, it's this guy. I think the guy was nice. His name was like Leon or Leroy or something like that. He was a fighter in prison. And um, but it was it was about like being locked up in the pen and cats were getting ass raped like left and right, dude. That fucking movie. I watched it when I was a kid. Oh, that shit fucking terrifying. I think most black parents show that movie to their kids like back then in the fucking seventies and eighties and shit. So like the, the especially yeah, like young boy, <laughs> yeah, word up to, to fucking scare the fuck out of them so that you would never want to get in trouble and go to jail. See, parents don't do that shit anymore, and that's why these fucking kids are running rampant like. Do you, do you have any movies like that, Tyler? Christmas Story or something? You fucking guys are white. Y'all don't got to worry. I, <laughs> don't I, worry about that shit. I prefer to leave my anal raping uh, out of my movie selection. <laughs> yeah, it's a different culture, man. It's a different culture. <laughs> <To each laughs> <own>. <laughs> 
Some people do fucking Christmas cards and fucking Christmas stockings, and other people do Amway and penitentiary movies. This is how it goes. Dang. Yeah, so. <laughs> I did watch CSI once. <laughs> that was pretty intense. I know you guys saw that. What movie was? Is it Blood In, Blood Out, or American Me, where they're um, they're in jail and they fucking they have the young dude and they rape him with a fucking this this saw blade ass knife on a bag of potatoes. You never seen that shit? And a, no, and you guys have never potatoes. seen American Me and fucking Blood In, Blood Out. Oh my god, these are classic American films, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't do real good with rape scenes. <laughs> oh my god! This is the shit that kept me out of prison. <laughs> Can all of this just be edited out of this show? Save, save this for your episode twenty-five. <laughs> Our goal, our goal every week now is going to be to see how close we can get to making you vomit. <laughs> this is so going in the show, dude. This is so going in the show. <laughs> oh my god! So, Mike, are you going to close this out, or are we going to keep on recording until tomorrow? <laughs> no, I don't even know what's going on, man. <laughs> I, I go to take a piss and I come back and I'm like, no, the devil or some shit. You were here for the rape scenes. You were here. You were here for Tyler's anal rape. You were here for it. I'm trying to, trying to get out of it now. I'm but. going Ray Lewis on this one. I might have been in there, but I ain't, I wasn't doing it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never stick my dick in that ass. I ain't never do that. I, mean, I might know who did, but you know, I don't know. Did he I, like? Did he like fucking cut a, a deal for immunity? And then <laughs> say, after that, say he didn't know what the fuck happened. Yeah. He was in the fucking room. Oh yeah, that's right. That's Probably right. Community, because he was in the room. Because that that shit happened here in Georgia, right? Why they were Why they were here for a game or some shit like that? Oh, I don't even. I can't I remember. Thought it that. happened during the off season. It was something like that. But he, he, this is when he was still in college, playing college ball, right? I don't know. Oh, we got our facts all fucked up. Sorry, Ray. <laughs> Sorry, well, we, well, here's, here's what we do know, Ray. You were in the fucking room. Like, you saw the good, shit go right? down. You know what? Lord got me. You saw that shit go down, Ray. We all know you did. Don't try to get out of it, dude. Oh, you good. try it. And I thought close it, was, it out, Tyler. Yeah, hey, Tyler. Yeah, Tyler. You want to close it out, boy? Sure, why not? Tyler, you don't want to do anything, do you, Tyler? You just want to sit back and be pretty, don't you? This is the... Uh... This is gonna close out our episode. Tyler just wants to sit back and be beautiful. Number seven. For the good lucky number. <laughs> yes, sir. The ultimate number, number seven. You can't divide it though, you know. It's, it's a prime number. <laughs> can't hit the prime number. <laughs> Mike, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I need a drink so bad. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm over here crying. <laughs> That's right, you weak boy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but Tyler, you are getting angry right now. Yeah, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go now. the fucking show. <laughs> We're fucking out. Fucking show's over. <laughs> 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 <laughs>